A little bit ago, the good people over at Dassault added in a tool called 3D Tag. And this is similar to FTNA in that you can put a text with a leader in, but it sizes it, keeps it that size, it uh, allows you to manipulate it without having an FTNA license either. And it's not meant for uh, big heavy duty dimensioning or anything like that, it's just simply text with a leader. And this is nice because if you have a lot of geometry on your screen, you want to be able to uh, maybe note what that geometry is so you can pick it repeatedly over and over again without having to go navigate through the tree. Now, as you see here, it sets up a geometrical set, 3D tag number one, and this allows me to specify leader points. Well, where do I want this to point to? I want one there. You'll see it sets up the leader. Maybe I want a leader there. You'll see it's across bodies. Maybe I want a leader over there. And now I just type in the text that I want. And just like that, I get this text that's parallel to the screen and is consistently that size. And this is, you can see the label is here. I can double click on it here, modify that label. I can hide show and so on and so forth. Something else that uh, I was doing, I was doing a little NC programming. Yes, I do some of that once in a while. And uh, you want to, uh, you have a lot of elements on the screen. So understanding what those elements are, it's really important to give them a name. If you have uh, a point, um, a specific locations where a tool has to go to safety planes, that type of thing, or um, obviously anywhere in design. Uh, what I like to do is insert a geometrical set, in this case, into the body that I want it to go into. And when I start adding in the text, you'll notice that this is this is that solid, right? This is that solid, this little magenta piece here. You'll notice that when I add that text in, it goes into that geometrical set. So this now allows me to uh, create text in a body for, again, marking reasons, whatever it is that's important. And being able to hide show these things really quickly here as well. So if I hide the main body, then that text gets hidden along with it also. And it's it's really quick, it's pretty simple. I can double click on it, I can manipulate the position. If I want to, I can add additional points, that type of thing as well. If I have a point generated, let's say on this edge, and I double click on this and I wanna add an additional element to that point, you'll see that if I come over here and modify that point, that leader adjusts to that point. And I found this extremely hand handy um, when I was doing a uh, little bit of NC that I was doing. So it's a really great tool, 3D tag. And um, again, you don't need an FTA license or anything like that. And it's just, again, it just sets up a little text. You can put as many of these as you want into a body. So it, they're easy to manipulate and manage. And again, putting a geo set inside of a body, this is non-hybrid design, allows you to uh, uh, label these things. And um, as somebody that does a lot of class A surfacing, um, I oftentimes set up a lot of curves as well to help drive geometry. And sometimes a little difficult or a little tricky to get uh, the geometry that you want. So uh, being able to come in set up that text and you'll notice that the text has a parent-child relationship to those elements. So it's uh, again, it's one of those things where it, not only does it help you uh, label everything out on screen, but it's also linked. It has those tags. You can quickly go in parent-child on that. So maybe you have a uh, combined curve or several curves, theoreticals, whatever, and you can quickly walk up and down a tree using that text. Sometimes it's easier to pick if there's a lot of geometry. Um, and getting things, centering the graph on it, whatever you want to do. So it's it's a really handy tool for organization, not just naming something in the screen, but also organizing the tree and organizing elements that you may want to pick over and over again. And, uh, you know, that type of thing. And use it along with a selection set. Potentially, you can put these things into selection sets and hide show based off of that as well. So there's a lot you can do with these. Anyway, great tool. Thanks, good people over at Dassault. Love it.